Welcome to the You Can Be Healthier in 3 Minutes video blog. I'm Dr. Mama Fetchitriki and today I'll talk to you about a form of cholesterol that is important to keep in its lowest levels to maintain your good health and longevity. Keep in mind that although many people used to consider cholesterol as a negative, your body requires this substance to work in a normal way. Cholesterol is an essential component of cells. It helps the synapses in your brain fire faster, so it protects your memory. It also aids in producing bile acids and sex hormones, along with being necessary for the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamins A, vitamins D, and vitamin E. Be aware that most of the cholesterol in your body is not produced in your diet. It's produced by your liver. Nevertheless, there is a type of cholesterol that is a very important sign of your heart's health. Its scientific name is oxycholesterol or oxidized LDL. It can make the good HDL cholesterol drop, causing a body's general inflammation, which may seriously damage your heart's health. Oxycholesterol forms when free radicals in the blood oxidize the existing good cholesterol. As this oxidized LDL cholesterol develops, it can seriously impact the health of your arteries. So the actual important cholesterol amounts is not your total cholesterol, but your degree of oxidized cholesterol The typical cholesterol tests do not look for. How can you lower your oxycholesterol levels with no side effects in your health? A recent scientific study published by the University of Connecticut confirmed that a healthy and balanced diet, along with a daily physical workout, can help to reduce oxycholesterol. But you can help your liver to metabolize or burn up the extra LDL cholesterol with a substance called polycosinol. Polycosinol is contained in green tea, as well as in some dietary supplements such as lecithin, niacin, COQ10, and omega-3. Polycosinol in green tea helps to block the bad cholesterol from being absorbed into the blood and digestive tract. It also increases its excretion from the body. Polycosinol also can be found in substances such as sugarcane and other plants such as wheat and is commonly used for crampy leg pain due to poor blood circulation, a condition called intermittent claudication as well as to decrease the narrowing of the blood vessels that serve the heart. Just five milligrams of polycosinol twice a day can lower bad cholesterol up to 27% and serum triglycerides by 16%. At the same time, it increases the good cholesterol in your body by almost 14%. Isn't that a great deal for your cardiovascular numbers? Visit our website youcanbehealthier.com to find out more information on natural formulas to reduce bad cholesterol and wait for a new chapter of the You Can Be Healthier in 3 Minutes video blog. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notifications bell to get notifications of our new chapters. I'm Dr. Mamata Chitriki. Thank you for watching.